So uh, today we're looking at the um, Nissan Duke with the uh, Renault 1.5 diesel engine in it. Um, there's a lot of information online about the, the fault with this uh, car with the traction control lights on, the anti-skid light. There's a C1130 fault code stored. Uh, not necessarily any fault codes in the engine ECU, but in the ABS it's saying uh, C1130. Different diagnostics read the code differently, and there's uh, quite a few answers as to what's causing the problem. The most common problem seems to be this um, uh, steel pressure pipe getting blocked up with carbon. Um, but it's not very clear on a lot of uh, the stuff on the internet where it is. So I'm going to show you exactly where that um, steel pipe is today and uh, how to get to it, get it off and get it clean. First of all, let's start with the location of where it is. First, that's the pipe you're looking for. This is the pipe. It sits with that attitude behind this pipe here. If you look directly behind here, it's going to be difficult to get the angle, but you can see my finger there, and that is the end of a sensor, and that sensor goes down through, uh, and the pipe connects to the bottom of that sensor. So that's where we're looking. Try and get it so that you can get you can familiarise yourself. There's the pipe. It will go. In behind you wrestle it through here and it sits down there so if I wiggle the end of the pipe around and get some light there you can see the end of the pipe moving all right and that's where it sits drop my drill that's great and it connects just down here it's going to be impossible to show you because you can't even see it you can only feel it but there's a banjo bolt which connects just down here um, the easiest way to get to it is to remove the battery and the air box take that out don't bother trying to struggle without it you can then get to this this end which has got a banjo bolt on it um, the one, this one was, was pretty tight. Here's your 13 mil bolt that holds it. You can see it's um, like an alloy, which uh, it, it was tight in there, but it came out okay eventually. Um, and what I used was a long extendable ratchet. And I went down in the back with the 13 mil on got it out without any problems right okay so once you've got it out get yourself a bit of clutch cable or brake cable whichever you can find what I did with this one was um, just here on the uh, on the end here I got it hot and put some solder in there so what that allows to do allows the cable to do it allows the cable just to fray but not to spin all the way back so a little bit of solder down there put it into a drill and then all you have to do is at the time I didn't have this red hose on there but so you put it on your drill and then you just let your drill go nice and slow. Make sure you get the message. You put your drill, your clutch cable into your drill, into there, and then just let it burrow its way down all the way through the pipe, and then you'll see loads of carbon and soot coming out the other end. So, once you've got it nice and clean, Reverse the process, put it all back together, and you're away. Good luck. 